just go through leadership keys. I, in my books on leadership, I have isolated over 14 necessary components of leadership, but I, I isolated them down, diluted them down to, to three in this session. Three most important components of leadership. The first one is purpose, which is the source of your vision. The second one is potential, which is the source of your ability and skill. And the third one is principles, which are the key and the most important because they are the values that you hold dear and will not violate. Leadership, therefore, is purpose. That's your, that's your mentality, your vision, the things you see and feel. Your ability, potential, is the second one. That's your power to perform and to do. But the third one is principles. And this one has to do with being responsible. Tiger Woods was a powerful, awesome character in golf. But his character had a break, a defect. The result was an irresponsible behavior. He was not responsible. He didn't act responsibly. His character was destroyed. He's trying to rebuild it again. So I just want to go over these very quickly again. Three components of leadership that I consider to be essential. One is principles, which produce character. Character is more important than charisma. Values are more important than vision. And so don't ever believe that your vision is the most important thing in your life. Your vision is as safe as your value. Leadership is impossible without a guiding vision and a purpose. It's impossible without a deep passion and conviction to accomplish your purpose. However, it is also impossible without principles that regulate leadership behavior. I hope you will never again after this summit ever make anything in your life more important than character. And that you will spend the rest of your life fighting to protect your character. I'm talking about fighting. I would prefer that you call me one day and say, Dr. Miles, I lost my house, my car, the dog is dead, bank accounts shut down, but I still got my character. I promise you, I will find money for you and build you a house. Because I would prefer to have a friend with character than a rich friend with corruption. Vision and values. Very important relationship between the two. First of all, without values, Vision has no destiny and discipline. This is very important to write down. With vision without values is destiny without discipline. No matter how great your destiny is, it could be derailed by your lack of discipline. Samson, what a great story that could have ended as, huh? He would have been one of the greatest judges of Israel. But he is known as the man who fell for a woman, disgraced his nation, and corrupted his memory forever. Number two, vision is protected by values. Number three, vision is interpreted through your values. No matter how great your vision is, I can tell if you believe it by the way you're acting. For example, if you show me a massive vision that you have for your life, and you're smoking while you're showing it to me, I want you to think about this now. That means you got this vision, this massive vision, that'll probably take 50 years to accomplish phase one, and you are working on your death. In other words, you don't value your lungs, even though you have a big destiny. 
So we got people with great vision sipping on alcohol while they're talking about it. This is like, it's like a smoking doctor. Your life is interpreted through your values. I eat properly. People ask me, why do you so, I've known you for 50 years, you have energy every day. That ain't no miracle. <laughs> I take a lot of vitamins every morning and I eat properly and exercise and don't stress myself out by having any adulterous relationship. You know why you look old? You got adultery in your life. Sin makes you old. Clap. Because the stress level that sin causes destroys the free radical cells in your body, triggers them, and turn them into cancer cells, and you end up with death in your body, just from an act. Your values interpret your, your vision. Number four, organizational vision is corporate purpose in pictures. Okay, your company, you business people here, you have your company, or you pastors, you have your church, or you politicians, you have your party or your platform. Everybody got some organizational component. But let me tell you something about organization. This is very important. Write this down. Organizational values are corporate convictions. Your organization must have character. Not just you. And the problem is, you are the organization. I was speaking with governments the last three weeks in Africa, and we went to so many countries. And every country we went to, we spoke with government leaders. They were in seminars just like this. I was talking to them for hours. And I was sharing with every government that I spoke to. I said, listen, there's no such thing as corrupt politicians. I'm sorry, corrupt politics. I said, there's no such thing as a corrupt government. It doesn't exist. Organizations are never corrupt. It's the people that get in them. This is why when the Attorney General spoke on our first day, she made a statement very important, and I say it often. She said, in reference to politics, that the politician determines what the country will look like. Their values that are personal become public policy. This is why, for example, in the United States, you Americans need to be very careful because you think that the president is your problem. The President of the United States is never your problem because he's always temporary. The most dangerous people in the United States are the people you cannot fire. You can't vote them out because you didn't vote them in. That's why they are called supreme. So you don't understand. Don't miss my session, third session today. The most dangerous people in the United States and in every country are the ones who create law, because law produces value. They become the character of the country, not the people, the laws they make. They create your children's future. They tell your children what's acceptable and not acceptable. That's why they are called supreme. Do you know the word supreme is only used in reference to God? which means that America has gods. So don't worry about the, 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 the president. Don't worry about the president too much. I hear people talking about the president. The president. Presidents go and come. It's the guys you can't move. I'm not saying that your president shouldn't be checked, but I think sometimes you put too much emphasis on the wrong thing. You need to make sure that the people, you may even need to challenge your governmental system in the next 20 years and say something's wrong with this system. 
We can't afford to have people sitting in a chair permanently. There's got to be a way to remove them if they do not go live in sync with our traditional values as a country. 